Hey everybody, uh, before I start talking about uh, this project and Lady Gaga herself, I just wanted to say some words about uh, art and social media exposure. Uh, as you all know, art has everything in life as a learning curve. Uh, and uh, the main thing uh, about art is that it is always uh, submitted to a personal interpretation, meaning that something that I may, fi may find amazing, uh, other people may find that it's crap, it's garbage, they don't uh, relate to it, they don't like it. And uh, when you expose yourself in YouTube, in Facebook, uh, whatever, um, you uh, are submitted to personal critiques uh, from everybody that sees your work, uh, that relates to it, that does not relate to it. Uh, and this uh, sometimes takes you down because we need commitment, we need time, we put effort into it. But I think the, the most important part of uh, the creative process is the, the encouragement, the stimulation you get from uh, other people, not just yourself. Um, I may think or I may like the, the work uh, I, I do, the work I've accomplished, uh, but I may have some really bad critiques uh, and that may put me down and sometimes uh, it is just not right um, I think uh, all the comments, all the things uh, I say about other people's work I am usually very careful uh, when I comment things if there is something that I don't like and my opinion is not asked uh, or if people don't ask me for help or for uh, something they could improve in their work I just highlight the things uh, I really like and um, add a little bit of encouragement um, nice words uh, always uh, have a, a good uh, impact uh, there are lots of people that have done this for me also and I really appreciate it uh, I'm very aware that uh, uh, we don't learn uh, we don't know everything of course and this is a learning curve as I've said um, but it's nice to, to hear some uh, nice comments uh, with this I don't mean that uh, it's good to, to lie uh, to somebody saying that their work is amazing uh, when they have lots of things to improve uh, but it's, it's I think it's in the way that you tell this to, to other persons um, there is the point uh, I want to, to talk about it's in the way that you say things uh, that sometimes uh, hurt other people and take them down and they give us uh, just give up because they feel like they will never be able to do this or that or their work is trash uh, and nobody likes it you know we we all learn together that's the the whole goal uh, at least for me, uh, I've learned a lot um, from others and I also hope that I was able to help somebody uh, to grow, to, to learn something from me uh, I think we all, all learn together, uh, that's the whole point of this, at least for me um, and so this is what uh, I wanted to, to tell about uh, all this uh, media exposure and art critiques um, I think we should all be careful uh, the way we say things to others 
uh, so that they don't be sad and don't be uh, troubled about their work um, and that's it uh, so let's talk about Lady Gaga I really like doing this project because uh, I'm a big fan of, of Lady Gaga's work uh, I think uh, she puts uh, everything she has into her work, uh, her performances. Uh, she makes uh, fashion, uh, a little bit of uh, theatrical performance. Uh, I don't know, everything's there. Um, she states uh, that at least uh, at the beginning um, she earned almost no money because she uh, invested everything uh, she earned uh, in her work um, in the making of the, the stages, uh, clothes, everything uh, so I admire her uh, a lot I really like what she does and uh, how she does it and the strength uh, she has um, so she was born uh, Stephanie Joan Angelina Germanotta. It's her real name. Uh, she was born in March uh, 1986 in New York. She's 32 now. Uh, she's very young. And uh, the name uh, Gaga uh, came out was in inspired by uh, the Radio Gaga song from uh, Queen. Uh, which I think is very interesting. Uh, she, her roots uh, are always uh, connected to th this. Uh, I would say like classic, uh, iconic uh, uh, rock stars person. I don't know. Um, she began to perform. Uh, at the age of 14 at nightclubs, uh, which is uh, very early. Um, I think she knew exactly what she wanted. Uh, in 2005 uh, she signed a contract that was dropped uh, three months later. So she started the songwriting at Interscope Records in 2007. Um, and then the singer Icon uh, sign, uh, signed her to his label and she recorded the fame uh, between 2007 and 2008. She also created the House of Gaga, which is the big machine of friends and lots of people that uh, help her uh, with her creations, help her doing what she, she does to accomplish everything. Uh, it's the great machine behind her. Uh, she worked with uh, Tony Bennett, in the jazz album Cheek to Cheek in 2014 uh, she won a Grammy for Best Traditional Pop Vocal Album in 2015 uh, she played the Countess in American Horror Story Hotel and she won a Golden Globe for that and uh, she also uh, supports LGBT rights. In fact, uh, Gay Bars uh, was where she started promoting her first album. Um, she always had uh, LGBT support. Uh, she, f she launched a Born This Way Foundation, uh, which is a non-profit organization to, just to help people uh, with their problems, with their struggles. Um, from Alzheimer to lupus and HIV, she supports a total of 21 charities and foundations. Uh, she's really engaged in, in all these things and uh, that's incredible um, how she manages to, to do this. Uh, 
and she calls her fans uh, little monsters and, her, and herself a uh, mother monster. I think that um, where she, where other people see imperfections and weaknesses, she sees uh, singularity and singleness. I think that um, she is different, very different from the, the usual uh, persons and uh, she acknowledged that uh, and I think that that's what she likes and that's what we should all like in others. We are all unique, we are all different from each other and that's what makes us uh, really special and that's what we should look uh, in others uh, and embrace their difference and learn from that um, that's why I, I really uh, like the way she is and the things she does also her connection with fashion became one of her uh, main characteristics uh, and it's not I don't think it's in a bad way. Uh, I think she uses uh, fashion uh, to make a statement, to complete uh, her music, um, her uh, performances, uh, not just live performances, but those uh, theatrical uh, kind of uh, happening performances she does. Um, her connection with Donatella Versace is also uh, well known. Um, for example, the, the meat dress um, was tied to her protest against the, the military's don't ask, don't tell policy uh, and was a statement against the governmental restrictions placed on the rights of gay soldiers so this uh, was not uh, well accepted uh, it, it had a lot of critiques uh, but this uh, was the whole goal of the meat dress um, she also uh, is the owner of eight VMAs including video of the year, best female video and best pop video I think she's done so much with her career um, she's going through this uh, bad phase in her life uh, at least for what I've seen in uh, 5 foot 2 uh, the documentary um, which uh, I didn't really like that much I think she exposed herself too much and I don't know, I, I think that uh, sometimes uh, people get uh, her strength, uh, they look at people like Gaga uh, to get inspiration, to get strength, to struggle through things. Uh, and 5 foot 2 uh, was like this uh, total exposure uh, of her as, as a person, as a human being that suffers from uh, chronic pain and has issues like everyone else uh, her relations with, uh, with men uh, her growing up, her family uh, it's also uh, very uh, related to her last album, Joanne uh, with the people in her life, her family, uh, producers, uh, everyone, you should uh, take a look at it. Uh, it's interesting, uh, it's another side of Gaga, a more intimate human side. Um, this is one hand uh, of the, the documentary. On the other hand, uh, she breaks completely uh, that icon goddess uh, status uh, sort of thing um, into this uh, human fragile female 
uh, that suffers with with pain uh, that has uh, love issues like everyone else um, it's interesting you should look at it Well, I also wanted to take this opportunity to ask you again if you could send me your uh, work. Uh, I would really appreciate it uh, if you could send some pictures to me with a watermark uh, so that I could uh, make that video that I've talked about in the live uh, with uh, work from different people, uh, with different machines, different themes. Um, it would really be interesting uh, to all of us, I think, and would be something that I want to give to you. At this point of the project, I uh, started using the Optima 1. Uh, it's very different uh, from what I was used to. Um, when burning uh, this, the rest of the project uh, I used maximum uh, 4 uh, of the temperature so uh, my hand never uh, was never hot uh, and I was able to burn for a much longer period without having to stop because my fingers uh, were burning this is just amazing, uh, the performance of the machine is incredible, uh, it's really very different and much much better than the other one. Uh, so I'm leaving the, the link uh, in the video description, you can take a look at the, the website. Also, uh, the price is also uh, very different, much more accessible uh, than other brands uh, and the quality is uh, much bigger. Um, these are the main differences uh, between them. Uh, I will uh, also make um, a review uh, of the, the machine. Uh, but in the meanwhile I just wanted to add uh, this little bit of information because it was a really uh, incredible experience uh, and I wanted to share it with you so I'm leaving the link in the description and you can take a look for yourself and uh, uh, watch reviews, comments from other artists, artists. Um, and you will come to this conclusion uh, for sure. Uh, I don't show this uh, in the video, uh, but uh, I made uh, the hair uh, with the tool I presented uh, in the whiskers uh, tutorial. Um, I think it came out nice. Um, I also highlighted some areas uh, with a Carandash white pencil, watercolor pencil, uh, which has a um, harder lead, uh, as I've said in other videos. I think it's uh, easier for me to use uh, and to be more accurate uh, to where I'm using it. Um, and so I hope uh, you've enjoyed the video. Uh, I really like making making this uh, this portrait uh, I think I will do some more I'm really in, enjoying doing portraits um, but uh, I'm kind of unsure uh, who will be the, the next one I think uh, I'll put up a survey uh, here uh, on YouTube on the community app I would really uh, love that uh, you could help me choose the next one. Uh, it will be a man for sure. Um, but I actually don't know... Uh, I'm thinking of Robert Smith, maybe Keanu Reeves... I don't know. 
I will put the survey up uh, so that you could help me. I would really love that you could help me choose the next one. So um, I hope you've enjoyed the, the video. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you have any question or anything you want to know. Uh, please let me know. Thank you.